Hello everyone and welcome to Cheap Noise in the house, the channel where we talk about electronic games and music production. I'm Cheap Noise and survey says I'm in the house and today we're going to have some smacking and moving fun because it's time for the game Beat Blast. So this is a brand new game, it just came out. It was on pre-order status on Amazon for a few months. Uh, it was released by Goliath and designed by uh, Dan Klitzner who is the inventor of Bobbit. And I got mine uh, last week, so I had the few times to a uh, few hours to play with it, and now I'm going to share a review with you. So this, in simplest terms, is basically Guitar Hero for electronic games. So you have, so you can see, you have these sections here. You have six uh, separate sections, and the light moves through these sections, and you need to do something when it hits the bottom. And uh, there's different colored lights. Uh, so there's a blue, a green, a red, and a yellow light. And yeah, you're supposed to do something with it, uh, and I'll show you that later. And uh, the highest, uh, the, the goal of the game is to get the highest score or to complete all five tracks. So you have five tracks in this game, and they're all patterns uh, that you can memorize. So uh, there's actually someone who started uh, listing the charts for these tracks, and that's a good selling point for this game, is that the soundtrack is very good. Uh, the soundtrack wants to make you move, uh, it makes you move a lot, you know, it's, you just bump your head because it's just catchy. It kind of feels nostalgic in a way, it kind of feels like this game was released a bit earlier in 2012 or 2013 by the soundtrack alone. But here's what you have to do. So when it's a blue light, you're supposed to do this, so, uh, uh, do this. When it's a red light, you're supposed to swipe it like that. When it's a green light, you're supposed to do this. And now here we come to the yellow lights. So the yellow lights are what brings this game downhill. Because uh, I thought you were supposed to smack the sides. So uh, when I was like smack or, smack or bash the sides because the move is called bash, I thought it was going to have a button. Now, can you see a button on the side except for these two buttons here? This is your uh, track select and volume button. This is your game select and high score button. And over here, there's your start button. Other than that, can't you see another button? The answer is no, and uh, that's kind of when I was disappointing. Introducing Exhibit A. This is the Bop It Refresh. It was released in 2016, and it's a pretty good Bop It. It has a motion uh, control uh, where you're supposed to do different moves like hammer it, selfie it, drink it. And the button, uh, the Bop It button, what was new at the time, it's not a real button. It's an impact sensor. So you really need to smack it for it to register anything. And that was a big problem back then and even today. A lot of people struggle to get these to register uh, the, the tapping of the Bop It button. So imagine that, but even more finicky on the Beat Blast. And the instruction manuals say that there's these two lines here. You're supposed to hit it in between these two lines. It doesn't work. Uh, I tried hitting it from the side really hard and actually broke my hand. Uh, my hand had difficulty moving because I was hitting it too hard and my palm is actually still hurting. So I, I won't be using a lot of my palm today. And I found my own technique, but yeah, this is what gets this game downhill. Because I have a couple of friends and we still haven't found a good, uh, in quotes, good technique that will make it work 100% of the time. So without any further ado, let's start it on and I will try to play some tracks for you. Okay, so you can press this button to select party or solo, party. which you need to uh, switch from players to players. So basically you play as a team solo. and solo. You can hold it down to get your high score per track. And you have this where you can select your, your track. That's the first track. So as you can see, the speaker is not that good. Uh, it distorts a lot. I think it's not made to play these bassy sounds. Uh, and the speaker is actually really tiny. It's in this button here. So what I like to do is turn down the volume. You do this by holding this. And it will appear some lights. Oops. 
and you can hit it again to cycle between three different volumes. I'll put it on volume two for now. So I'll play this track first. So as you can see, I had a double deck. Oh, and I hit it, and it didn't work. So as you can see, it was a yellow, I hit it, and it didn't work. And it, gave me, it gives me stars. So basically, you're supposed to have the whole uh, stick lighting up. I got a score of, I think, 23. My highest on here is... High score, 39. 39. And the highest you can get on this track is 40. Now I'm going to play a, another track. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Score, now I'm gonna play the third track. As you can see, it goes faster. Oops. Oops, didn't work. Alright, so that was the third track. I'm gonna play the dubstep track. Which seemed to go slower, but you have a lot more lights in it. So as you can see, here's the triple. Oops. Now you'll see three lights moving at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. And finally, the last track, which goes really fast. See, it didn't work there. That's about it for Beat Blast. So I'm gonna put this aside and wait until it shuts off. So what do I think about this game? Of course, the yellow light uh, is a huge con for this game. It doesn't really work right. As you can see, it works most of the time because I found my own technique, but uh, yeah, it's not the most reliable thing. Despite that, I think it's a very cool concept and the soundtrack and just the the overall concept in general and how it plays for the most part really makes it a highlight of this year. So yeah, the yellow light is a huge con. Uh, be careful if, if you're playing this game to, to do it right or to find your own technique. Other than that, I mean, there's nothing else to complain. Yes, the sound is not very good and I would like to have a headphone jack or an output of some sort so you can uh, pump the sound somewhere else. But other than that, I mean, for 25 US dollars, you can complain. So that's it for me, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!